Are you ready to say goodbye to the constant ups and downs of the artist income roller coaster? Whether you're a full time artist who wants to increase and stabilize your income, a part time musician who wants to go full time, or a hobbyist who needs to fund your passion projects, this podcast will equip you with the tools, resources, and inspiration to make it happen. On the Profitable Musician Show, we give you practical tips and strategies to increase the income you're already making and tap into new streams so you can create more diverse, stable, reliable income from music and finally ditch the starving artist mentality. We also help you think like a business owner so you can keep more of the money that you make. My name is Bree Noble. I'm a musician, author of the best-selling book, The Musician's Profit Path, and host of the popular Profitable Musician Summit. And as you can probably tell, I am obsessed with helping musicians like you to build a rock solid fan base and income foundation so you can fund the music you are driven to create, share your message with the world, and fulfill your God-given purpose as a musician without stressing out about where your next dollar is gonna come from. You've got the talent. You just need the marketing and business tools to take it to the next level. Now let's dive in to the Profitable Musician Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I am so excited to be here today with Tally Mandelswig from Meat Fox. So we're going to learn a lot about Meat Fox in a minute as she tells us about their platform. Um, but I got to say, like, I heard about this from one of my students and right around that time, we connected as well. And so it was like perfect timing because my students were trying different things to be able to, you know, teach online and meet people online and record and all the things that we need to do in this interesting time of the pandemic. But it's actually, I believe, is going to be, you know, moving forward and this being more of a commonplace for people to be meeting and doing things online, like like teaching and learning and things. So I thought it would be great to have her on to talk about their platform and how it can help musicians. And so we'll get into that in a sec. I just want Tally to let us know first, like how did Meet Fox start? Like, why did you um, decide to start this platform? Like what was the pain that you saw in the market that you guys were trying to solve? Well, first off, I want to say thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited, and I think it's great that, you know, you've heard about us from someone else while I contacted you. It was very ironic. <laughs> um, so I guess it all started with my co-founder, my co-founder, Susanna. Um, she was in rural Austria at the time, and she was looking for a coach. She was just looking for a business coach to get some advice at her at the company she was running back at that time. And she just found it really difficult to be able to find anything online that was very transparent and very easy. So she spent hours and hours trying to look for something and then realized that she actually is taking too long and she's not really finding what she's wanting. And so she thought to maybe start a marketplace of coaches and consultants. Um, so she actually built that and it went really well. There was a lot of demand for coaches, but uh, soon after she launched it, she realized there's actually a bigger demand from the technology behind uh, the marketplace, which is actually Meat Fox. Um, so I actually, so Susie decided to kind of pivot and take out the technology and kind of make it a standalone pro uh, product. I saw her do a pitch um, at a startup event and then I saw it, I loved the idea. I'm, you know, I'm really fond of the gig economy and people kind of running their own business and their own hustle, I guess, or kind of do, having their own drive to, to you know, make himself successful. So I contacted her on via LinkedIn. We ended up having like a two hour coffee and then we just, you know, started kind of building Meat Fox. That's awesome. I love that. And, you know, you were, you got in because you saw the need as well and felt like it was a really important thing to be building in this gig economy. So what do you think, what's different after the pandemic as far as what people are needing and how you guys can fill that need? I think the biggest difference is I think that before, you know, many maybe traditional, the way people worked was maybe way more traditional. Um, you know, people maybe thought that you had to meet face to face. People, uh, you know, did things a lot more, maybe more manually, quote unquote. I think that COVID has changed the way people work. People who are not used to kind of doing face to people who are not used to sort of doing like 
digital uh, conferences or different calls, just like actually we're doing now. And a lot of different use, we've seen a lot of different use cases through COVID. And we've seen a lot of success stories where people have actually pivoted their business and changed their whole strategy to be more online and they've thrived and done amazing. So I think what's going to happen, I think also 2021, you know, I think, I think in 2020, I think a lot of people, especially when COVID kind of, when the pandemic really burst out into basically the entire world, people thought I think that 2021 might become normal, quote unquote. But as things are getting back, as, as countries are getting vaccinated, I, I mean, I'm not trying to talk, any, I'm not trying to speak anything politically, but I'm not sure when things are going to get back to normal. When are you going to go to a concert or when are you going to fly somewhere to meet someone? So I do believe that this, this is going to stay, that this kind of meeting interaction and this kind of way to interact with your clients will actually stay. And then it actually becomes a little, it becomes a productive, you're saving time on, on flying, on driving. Uh, you can do it at the comfort of your own home or from your office or wherever you want to do it. And you can still build that really great relationship with your clients by meeting them um, online and really having them to schedule a meeting just by making it things very efficient rather than always writing back and forth and also working with people that are actually outside of your time zone, making it you have to be able to expand your business and actually your horizon. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And I think it's going to change people's routines and habits. And, you know, whereas they always did something in person, now they realize, oh, I can do this from the comfort of my own home. Like, why should I drive across town or through traffic or whatever to say, take a voice lesson when I can do it online? So I'd love to know, have you seen specific use cases with musicians on your platform? Yes, we actually have a piano teacher who's been doing amazing uh, by doing like online piano like lessons um, through Meet Fox. I actually also believe that his oldest uh, student is, I think, in their I think in the early nineties. That's so. Um, awesome. It's beautiful to see, and she's done extremely, extremely well um, by teaching these, I guess, students and kids, adults, whatever he's teaching. Um, you know, online during this pandemic. And I think that the kids are doing, or the students are, I should say, are, are loving it. And he says that he's doing really well. He actually says he's doing, he actually has more students now because he doesn't have to spend the time people commuting. He, he makes his own hours, or he's more flexible with his hours, right? Because he has, he can kind of maybe work a little bit later or maybe work a little bit earlier now because he has more of this flexibility. Yeah. Oh, it. yeah, it's so true. And then like, I don't know, just the idea of going somewhere, like say you work all day, you know, you're a student, right? You work all day and then you really want to take piano lessons, but the idea of like having to go out again to go do, you know, your lesson or driving through rush hour traffic because your lesson's at 5.30, you know, it's just so great to be able to like get home, relax, all that stuff. And then switch into fun mode, do your lesson and it's just super easy. So I love that it makes that available. Now I know that you know we've had, I know people that have been doing this for years, like teaching lessons on Skype or, you know, more recently Zoom or even more recently like messenger rooms or something like that. I'd love to know what what Meet Fox is trying to like serve in that market that's different from using all those other platforms. So I think the biggest difference, so the other platforms you mentioned are, are, I would say, video conferencing solutions. So they're a way to actually have the lesson. But there's three components to the lesson, right? There is to schedule the, the lesson time. There's to actually have the lesson, but also to get paid for that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's where Refox comes in. We are this all-in-one solution. What kind of act, act is your back office? So with a simple link or the single button, the student can book a time that works for them based on their real-time availability. You don't have to ask them anything. They can reschedule if they need to. You don't really have to do this back and forth of asking them when they're free. And then also other new students who want to actually maybe book a lesson or introductory call or whatever it is, they can actually do it immediately rather than having to ask you when you're free, kind of all this back and forth. We also provide the video conferencing solution that you don't need to download anything or use another software. So your students don't have to have a, a login, which a lot of them really like. And the best part yet is that you actually get paid. So if you're charging $100 for a 60 minute you know, lesson, when the student books, you'll actually get paid immediately. So this is a very seamless and really easy solution to use. Um, and I think that one of the best parts is obviously a lot of you know, musicians or 
any small company or anyone in the gig economy always wants to grow and you know boost their presence and their branding. And we actually can help you customize MeFox into your own branding. So not only would say like MeFox.com, I would say it would say you know your company.com, and it actually gives you a little bit more brand awareness for your for your students and stuff. So a lot of our clients, a lot of people who use this really really like that as well. Oh, that's really cool that you include the branding. I think that's going to be important to a lot of people that, you know, have a studio or are teaching songwriting or whatever they're doing that they want to have their name on there uh, on the link. So that's really smart. So let's, let's break this down. So let's start with the scheduling side. I think that's really, really great that you have that built in because I know for me, it's like, I have to have acuity or Calendly or something like that. Um, you know, that's how we set up this meeting, right? I have my scheduling link, you do that. But then when I want to get your information and get your photo and all the stuff that I need for this episode, I have to go to Acuity and, you know, look, look up the event and then get all the stuff, right? So it's in a separate place. Then I have to go to Zoom and do this. You know, then if we were doing something was paid, then you would have to go pay me a totally different way. So I love that it's completely integrated there and I think that some musicians they don't expand their their number of students because every time they do it creates so much administrative work for them so automating this stuff is so so important I mean do you have any sense of like how much time this might save them every week by automating this step yes it's basically one full working day a week pretty much just to schedule alone just to do this back and forth of like, when are you free? And if they're in different time zones and things like that, or, or they need to cancel. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People spend about statistics say just shy of five hours on that. And then if let's say someone isn't, let's say you're actually going to meet them face to face, then you have to commute. Then also if someone did pay you, you have to, if you have to first generate the invoice, then you have to chase them. And that kind of is not the fun part of, right. Of, especially of teaching music, right. You want to be able to work with, students kids or adults who love what they're doing and you just want to build that relationship with them you don't want to have to call them and say like you didn't pay me you didn't want to do this and this and that and that also takes away all that time spent on administrative tasks takes away from actually growing your business um whether it's self-development whether it's finding new students whether it's you know being part of events and networking whatever you want to do to grow um so it does have, you actually spend a lot of time. I think more people spend more time than they really think on, on all of that. And that's where we kind of come in and combine these different solutions uh, into one. And just like you said, you know, you're using a different solution for schedule, a different a solution for Zoom, uh, you know, to have this. But let's say one of the solutions doesn't work. Your whole ecosystem is actually broken then. Yep. Oh, and, and it's, not, it's not like a seamless system. You know, you have to go from one to one, you have to make sure that they're talking to each other, all that stuff. So I think that I love that you said that five hours, because I think people would give pushback, like, no way, there's no way I'm spending that much time on that. But you guys, you are like, if I recently did a time audit for myself and the amount of time that I was spending on email is insane. If you look at it over an entire week of like the back and forth kind of emails and stuff. So I think that this is is a really important point for people to look at and why it would be worth it. And the thing is, you know, you have to, if you want these things to talk to each other and you're using different solutions, you have to pay for each one of them. You can't use the free version because then they don't talk to the other things. So you got to think about this as like, this is an all in one solution that you can use, pay one small price to use it and it's covering everything. So let's talk about the conference side. So how does it differ? Um, how does Meet Fox differ or like, does it, what similar things does it have to all the platforms that we already know? And is there anything that's different about Meet Fox when it comes to the, just the online conferencing aspect of it? Sure. So we have obviously the, the same features as most of the video solutions like screen sharing, file sharing, chat, recording, things like that, et cetera. I would say the biggest difference is that you actually don't need to download anything. So you don't need to actually have an app. You don't need to actually use it in any other software. It's fully web-based. So all your students or any of your clients have to do, they just have to click a button and then the, it just pops up right on the browser and you can just start really easily. Um, so just a very easy way to kind of get things going without having to, 
to say, oh, it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't, I didn't download it on this app or didn't download it on this device and things like that. So I would say that is the biggest difference. And also with the branding, you can also customize the, the video call actually with your logo, with the URL to change to your branding. So it gives it a little bit more branding awareness for your agency. Yeah, I think that the the whole downloading thing is important because some people don't want to download stuff to their computer. They, um, you know, maybe they don't even use a, a phone or something, so they can't use an app. And so, like, especially people that are technology challenged, they might be very resistant to doing lessons this way. But if you make it so easy, all you have to do is click this button and I show up on your screen. Yeah. They're all in, right? So do you, is there a mobile version or do they just use it through like their web browser in their mobile device? It's mobile compatible. So they don't have to use any browser within, uh, within their, with their mobile and it works perfectly. It's super easy. So no extra apps or anything like that. Exactly. Awesome. Okay. So let's talk about the payment side. So, you know, normally I know that musicians are using things like Square Up or, PayPal or Venmo or something to get paid. Um, what payment system are you guys using and how does, how do they actually receive the money? And also like, do they have to schedule like with every lesson, do they have to then pay when they schedule or can they be on some kind of like recurring plan? So right now we have, um, they can actually invoice if they do choose to, they can have their own payment yes method if they also choose to but we integrate with uh stripe and we'll be integrating with paypal um out in the next couple of weeks mm. um right and we so right now it, it is session based but we're also in the midst of building packages as well so if you sell four packages uh, then you could they can do it now once and then it's recurring a lot of a lot of our clients actually like the session based because then they're getting paid at the time for each session um, but again, we have a lot of really cool workarounds to help our clients really make sure that they're really using it and, you know, and utilizing the solution to the best of their ability. People actually get paid right at the time of booking. So the, the student books you know, an hour for $100. The, the musician or the teacher would get paid immediately at the time of booking. That's so great because then it's not on you if they cancel. Like what I hate is that, you know, when there's people that cancel and then they pay after the lesson, then you're not getting paid for the thing that, you know, you set aside time for. So this way it's on them. Like if they need to reschedule and you do allow them to reschedule, if they tell you enough in advance, it's up to them to reschedule because you've got their money no matter what. So I love that. It's, it really does protect the musician for sure. So exactly. Oh, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Ad, I was we also have like a cancellation policy similar to how like Airbnb has it. Mm. So you can set your own cancellation policy based on how you work. You can either make it very strict or very lenient. It's up to you. Um, and then also I, it, everything kind of happens automatically. So it really allows you to be flexible and customize me Fox to your company. Yeah. And I get the impression, you know, this is a very like um, grassroots company you know, here I am talking to one of the founders. So um, like if you've got things that you think they should have, I'm guessing, you know, you guys will be like listening to your customers, you know, cause this is a pretty early stage product, right? So customers will be like, oh, is there any way we could do this? Or, you know, we might want to use it for this and you'll be listening to them and maybe implementing along the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Um... We really value customer feedback. We speak to, I also personally speak to a lot of our customers. Um, we take, we have a huge list of what people ask for. So we always note it down and we always pass it along to our CTO and our developers as well. Um, we really pride ourselves in our customer support to if they have any questions or if they don't know something or we have really cool workarounds of things that they can do that maybe they didn't think of to be able to get the end goal that they want. So we do really value feedback and really listen to our clients uh, and really try to, uh, you know, make everyone is everyone happy by, you know, we develop things actually really, really quickly. Um, we have great developers in house that do that. So we're really fortunate for that as well. So yes, we really value what they say and we do take um, all feedback very seriously. That's awesome. So before we get into like, 
how much it would cost to actually use this. Uh, I just want to let everybody know that they've given my audience a, a chance to try it for free for 60 days. So, you know, why not try this technology and see if it works for you? All you need to do is when you go to meetfox is meetfox.com, then you go and just enter the promo code BREE trial. So B R E E, that's my name, trial, T R I A L, and we'll put it below this video as well and you can uh, get a chance to try it out and see if it's going to work for your business. But so if they try it, they love it, then how much will that be for them on a monthly basis? So we have a, a few different packages. If they don't have so many lessons when they want to start off with, it's it's $11 a month. And if they have unlimited lessons and they're growing and they're booming, it'd be $29 a month. That's amazing. I mean, when I think about the fact that that $11, like that's what you would pay just for a scheduling tool. <laughs> So, yes. you or know, like two cups of coffee, basically. <laughs> yes. Yes. But like I have paid for a scheduling tool before um, and it is that much. So like it's so worth it. And when you get the payment and everything all integrated. So I love yeah. that you've got like an entry level version and a, a more upscale version for people that are really running this as a full time business. So whether you're like just doing a few lessons on the side to expand your income streams, which I always recommend. Um, or if you're doing this as a like full-time thing, this will totally work for you and it's super affordable. So is there anything we haven't covered yet about what you guys do for people in the gig economy? I think the one actually really cool thing that I wanted to mention is a lot of, we have a, a way for you, for our uh, customers to embed a booking button on their website. So obviously now everything's becoming digital and people are spending a lot of time searching online is that when someone actually finds your either profile or any, any social media channel of yours, or even on a website, you can have a book new now button. And what does that, what that does actually is convert these interested people or interested prospects into paying customers, you know, at the height of their interest. Basically once they find your website or find your profile, if they're actually interested in speaking to you, they don't have to, message you or write your form or send you an email that can just book something with you immediately. And you don't actually, you can also offer like introductory calls for free as well. And to get people going. And we've seen a lot of success stories uh, with clients just adding it to their YouTube channel, to their Facebook, to their Instagram, to LinkedIn, if they're using LinkedIn, to their email. And they're just getting a lot more meetings from people because it's so easy for someone to book a meeting with them then and there and immediately when they're actually interested in doing it rather than, you know, taking the time and having to think about it and then maybe changing their mind if they, you know, it wasn't instant. Yeah, that's really, really smart. And I think, you know, now when you don't have to be local to have lessons with people or learn from people, like how cool yeah. would it be to find someone on YouTube and like maybe you're looking for vocal exercises and you go find somebody and you really like the way they're teaching vocal exercises and then you can immediately like book a lesson with that person. Like how amazing is that, that we live in times that you can do that? Yeah. And people should take advantage of things like that. And I think that, you know, there are solutions like ours and other solutions as well to be able to um, enhance that experience. Yeah. So meetfox.com, right? Do they, what do they click on if they want to get their free trial? Yeah. So just go to www.meetfox.com. Just go to sign up. Fill out the registration. It takes about a minute or two, your first name, last name. And once it gets to the checkout, just type in and uh, click on I have a voucher, add in free trial, and it'll instantly give you the, the two months free, the 60 days free access. Yep. So just remember, not free trial, BREE, B-R-E-E -E, trial. Um, thank you so much, Tally. This has been great. I appreciate you giving us your time and explaining your awesome new platform. And I know as some of my students have already been trying it, that I that people are going to love trying out this platform. I appreciate you giving them a good long time to be able to test it out to see if it's for them. Yeah, our goal is to really help uh, you know entrepreneurs to kind of thrive, and you know I was very happy to do so. And thank you so much for having me, Bree. I really enjoyed being here and talking with you, and and hopefully I get that chance to help some of your uh, students. You are so welcome. Thanks for listening to The Profitable Musician Show. I would love to know your takeaways and aha moments from this episode. Leave me a comment over at ProfitableMusician.com so I can bring you more of the information, interviews, and resources that you love. 
thanks to Rondi Fay, one of my Academy members, for providing the music for our podcast. You can check her out at rondifay.com. That's R-A-N-D-I-F-A-Y.com. Just remember, knowledge is power, but without implementation, it is useless. And inspiration without action is merely entertainment. But I know you're not just a dreamer, you are a doer. And I promise I'll be here every week to support you and remind you that you can be a profitable musician. 